they're back. What's up guys, welcome to another video and today we're back because we have another game coming out of the guys that made the original Burnout 3 Fields Entertainment. So if you've been following any of this kind of storyline with the dangerous driving games, it's been a pretty mad journey. So a few years ago they launched this game called Dangerous Golf. It was basically Burnout but with golf balls. From there they then released a VR game which I personally didn't play. If anyone wants, wants to donate me a VR game. Has this ever research? I'm here. <laughs> then the first out of the driving related games released called Danger Zone. It was basically Burnout, but with the crash mode. Very fun game. I think that was actually one of the best games that Three Field Entertainment has made so far. For reasons that I'll be discussing a little bit later. We then had the sequel, a cleverly named a Danger Zone 2. And then that takes us up to modern day with Dangerous Driving. This was supposed to be the Burnout spiritual successor. You know, bringing you Burnout 3 with Burnout one's budget was kind of a really interesting title I saw I think on Eurogamer or somewhere and about a few days ago we had the announcement that Dangerous Driving 2 a open world burnout style game is going to be coming to a Nintendo Switch Xbox One PC and PlayStation 4 in 2020 holiday season we're going to be getting more gameplay probably around about 72 hours um, as the team are actually going to PAX East, so that's going to be pretty cool. So we will see gameplay of this later this week, so stay tuned to the channel if you want to see actual gameplay. And I'm excited and worried for this game at the same time. So the reason why Danger Zone was one of my favourite games in the franchise, because it felt dialed down, it felt focused and it was very polished. It wasn't an experience that there was buggy or there was problems. Like, it was very dialed in. You know, same with Danger Zone 2, it, you know, even more so. Uh, Dangerous Driving, very, very mixed bag for me, that was. I really enjoyed it, but it just got really boring really quick. There wasn't much to do. And I bought this game with my own money on day one. Didn't get given a code or anything across those lines. Like, I spent my own money on it. Um, and it just got really boring really fast. It was really glitchy, really buggy. But the core vision of what they were trying to go for was really 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 good and I can kind of see where they were going with it but they just kind of didn't hit the mark with the polish and you know what I mean. We're now going into Dangerous Driving 2 and I'm worried because it's an open world game. If the, the closed track racer was that buggy they're now doing an open world game that has the potential to get really messy unless they fix all those bugs that was in the original game. May I remind you guys that Dangerous Driving came out last year. It's not like they've had four years of development time and this polished burnout success has been in the works for years they literally their last game came out last year so i'm a bit worried at the same time cautiously optimistic i'm hoping that this is more of a return to what we saw with danger zone um where it was polished and even dangerous golf in that in that way where it's very polished it's an all-around experience and there's nothing really missing and it's not gonna be kind of what Dangerous Driving was where it got boring and there's, there's not much to it. I'm going to support Three Fields. It looks like they're enjoying themselves and I do hope that they can manage to sort this out. Either way, a Burnout Open World game and Burnout Paradise 2, I'm looking forward to that. The spiritual success of the Burnout Paradise, that is only something I'm looking forward to. Burnout Paradise, one of my all-time all favourite games of all time ever. So I think it's up there probably with like Midnight Club LA, Forza Horizon 4. Uh, and Need for Speed Most Wanted, probably in Underground 2. Like, it's, up, it's up there in, like, the best racing games of all time for me. You know, the fact that Forza, you know, does Forza on nowadays, which is basically free burn challenges, and we, you can see the, the, inf the influence it's had in every as aspect of racing games. It's a bit crazy. So, hopefully, I'm not expecting that level of, you know, innovation from this, but a good open world burnout game where I can finally do Stunt Run again. Oh, mate. That's what I need. I need stunt run back in my life. Anyway, I will be back in a few days with gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be streaming tonight on Twitch. I've been streaming on Twitch quite a lot recently. So, uh, yeah, just check the description for stream schedules and all that kind of stuff. It'll all be down there as well as the landing page to Three Fields Entertainment website. There you can find more information on Dangerous Driving and where to follow them and whatnot. Definitely support this project. Even if it is a little bit buggy, um, I can forgive that because there's like four people working on this I'm pretty sure it's not a big team at all uh, so yeah definitely support the project I'm gonna be buying this on day one anyway uh, but I do think this game is kind of really important to where it, you know the whole team and the whole direction of this franchise goes in the future because if this is a title 
which kind of under delivers, it's buggy and it's missing things on launch. Like people won't be getting as excited for announcements and I can see the kind of hype train for this burnout comeback kind of going down and that's sad because I don't want that to happen. So hopefully they nail it. I went on a complete tangent there. Follow my Twitch. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome day safe and peace.